Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello and welcome to Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists with me, Hannah Critchlow. This week we wonder what links potato, soap and skin. Hello Naked Scientists, Martin here from Norwich. We have a touch lamp on our desk that goes on or off when you touch it. I accidentally touched the lamp with a piece of soap in my hand and the lamp went off. My question is, what is so special about soap that you can use it to turn the lamp on or off? We also tried other materials and we found out that it works with potatoes as well. Thank you. So why are touch-sensitive switches so sensitive to skin, soap and potato, but not everything else? We asked Philip Garced, PhD electrical engineer student at Cambridge University, for the science behind this home experiment. This effect is all to do with the fact that our bodies, along with many other things, are able to store a certain amount of electrical charge. If you've ever had a static electric shock, you'll already have some experience of that. And how much electrical charge something can store is known as capacitance. In a touch lamp, when an object that can store charge, like your hand, comes close to the sensor circuit, it will influence the circuit's behaviour, and usually this will cause a change in either a voltage or the speed of a timer circuit, and if that change is big enough, then the lamp will switch on or off. But it isn't just you that can store charge, loads of other things can. Uh, That includes soap, fruit, vegetables, fizzy drinks in bottles. As long as it can store enough charge to fool the sensor into thinking that there's a hand there, then it'll probably work. On the other hand, materials like paper, plastic and wood, they don't generally really store electrical charge, so they're unlikely to work. The technology used in touch lamps is very similar to that that's used in smartphone touchscreens. The sensors do vary a little bit in sensitivity and design though, so in some cases you'll need to hold the bar of soap or piece of veg directly with your hand for it to work, but in other cases just its presence near the sensor will be enough. Why not have an experiment to see what else you can get to work? I found it really funny that I could scroll through my emails on my phone using a tangerine from the fruit basket. So it turns out that anything that can conduct electricity, like the inside of a tangerine, and also block electricity, like the tangerine's skin, can act as a capacitor and store charge. Simply putting this capacitor near a touch-sensitive gadget, like Martin's lamp, is enough to switch it on or off. Sticking with the subject of science at home, Thomas Camerton's from Berlin got in touch searching for an explanation for this. Dear Naked Scientists, I wonder why the texture of chewing gum changes if you do heavy physical exercise or drink coffee while chewing. So what could be affecting chewing gum to change its texture and taste? Send us your thoughts by posting on our Naked Scientist Facebook page. You can email chris at thenakedscientists.com. You can join in our live debate on our forum, which is at nakedscientists.com forward slash forum. Or you can tweet at Naked Scientists. The Naked Scientists Question of the Week, brought to you in association with the How to Wisman Foundation, supporting science and education from alpha to omega.